And people always tell me my life is lit. I'm just alive in my life. Like, I feel like some people are not alive in their life. Like, are you really living this motherfucking life? Like, are you living it? Are you throwing caution to the fucking wind and just doing what you really want to do? Are you going where you really want to go? I remember I used to, man, I had I had a job for, for um, 11 years. I worked for Staples Center. And that's like one of them jobs that like, they test you. They fucking test you. Because the job, you work a sporting event. So I would work NBA basketball season and NHL hockey season. Those are night events. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, for sure. For sure. That means no Taco Tuesdays. That means no Thirsty Thursdays. That means no Freaky Fridays. No. Oh, my God. And then it was actually, like, low-key kind of difficult because I was over it. Like, we used to actually get off work kind of early. We used to get off work at 1030. That's, like, early as fuck, right? But you still got to go home, get dressed, hair, makeup, everything. Like, now you, like, you know, you back at square one. So, we used to be so thirsty to go out. I, I used to be so thirsty to live my life, do what I want to do. I used to bring my clothes with me for the club to work. I used to do as little as possible at work. Like, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I cannot bust a sweat. I'm sorry. I just can't. I can't risk it. Change. Do hair and makeup. We used to start doing makeup on our lunch break. Oh, God, I would come back to work for my lunch break with brows <laughs> and lashes. Like, oh, yeah, now I just got to only fill in my foundation. Boom, I'm out. Get dressed in the bathroom. Shit, get dressed in a car. <laughs> get dressed at somebody's house. Anything just to get the fuck out and live my life because I really used to go to work like all the time. And I just used to be seeing life happen before me. I used to meet like all the most interesting people, like people that was there for their birthday, people that was at the event for the first time just because they're a fan. <clears throat> Season ticket holders, um, foreigners, just I used to meet all kind of people and I used to be like, I want to live my life. Like you are living your life. You are alive. You are walking, talking, and breathing. Okay. You are not just existing. You are having experiences. And that's that's like that's when. I think I could honestly say like my first real I'm going to live my life experience. I was like 20, maybe 22 or 23. My best friend took me to Vegas. We met like some random dude. No dudes. He was with like other people. And I really flew with that nigga to D.C. I really told my own girl like, oh, yeah, girl, he want, he want me to go to D.C. with him. I'm out. And I really left. And went to D.C. That was crazy. That wasn't my first time on a plane, but that was definitely my first time using life like a fucking Tinder profile. I just was like, swipe right. I like you. You like me. That's well. That's for another day, though.